Parakeets and climb up bricks. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Hey guys, I am showing some graphics comparisons of Minecraft 1.7 and Minecraft 1.12. Let's move on to the first comparisons we have here. Here we have no mip mapping with no anastrophic filtering as the first picture on the left. As you can tell, it looks really rough and really pixelated along that side. And with mip mapping level 4, no anastrophic filtering, it looks blurred. I mean, it does look good, a lot better than the first picture, but it looks blurry. So when you put anastrophic filtering 16 levels in there, it makes it look nice. 1.7.2 had less saw on the left, and 1.12 had on the right. I was always wondering why the crafting table kind of seemed different, but now I know. As the first picture, 1.7.2, no mid mapping, no anastrophic filtering. We can see that the crafting table looks very pixelated, and it still looks better than 1.12 with no mid mapping, no anastrophic filtering. But with mid mapping level 4, no anastrophic filtering, you can see that it is very blurred. I actually prefer that look. I think it looks nice. And 1.12, it seems like it doesn't do anything with mid mapping. And 1.12, surprisingly, does not have anastrophic filtering settings. That's strange. So as you can tell at the bottom of the picture, it says Optifine 1.12. With Optifine 1.12, you can see that it actually does blur the blocks and make it look nice. Now here, this is very self-explanatory. You can basically just look at that and look for yourself. Again, it's, I said, no AF options. And 1.12, so that the bottom right corner is Optifine again. Look at the grass. 1.7 had darker grass than 1.12. I think it's nice that it adds more detail to the grass. As it's darker, but then again, 1.12 it mixes in better. And, you know, it looks more natural. We're looking at the trees. Again, same thing. However, it doesn't seem to look the same with anastrophic filtering between 1.7 and Optifine 1.12 here. Something doesn't look the same. If you look at the normal water, it's blue and it looks very nice. But Windows 10 water, as you can see, just looks very opa opaque. It just doesn't look nice. Especially when looking farther away you see how it like gets brighter and stuff it like disappears the blocks look how ugly that is ew now this is what it looks like normally underwater in minecraft you can see but in windows 10 you can't see anything it's just dark you can't see a thing it's horrible now, this is popping like grass, flowers, leaves. Normal Minecraft doesn't have any. But for Windows 10, you can see that the grass disappears and comes back. You see how it does that? Now, it's dependent on the render distance. But it's still there. And it, it really does not belong in Minecraft. Here, you can also see it works in the flowers and the leaves and the trees. I really don't like it. At all. It does not belong to be in Minecraft. Now here's a weird block selection thing, the highlighting thing, that shows what block you can break or place. Now, Windows 10, it's just annoying and it's just not informative or good at all. It's just really dumb. It's, But in the normal Minecraft, it's just a faint outline. It's not too annoying and it's very, very, very useful. Unlike where it just highlights whatever you're looking at, it actually shows the outline of the hitbox. See, you can break it without actually touching the plant because it's hit in the hitbox. Look, the crosser's not on the flower. It's not on the flower, but we can still break it. See, you can see the sapling on the very edge. We can break it.